Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video about medical tourism. Today's video is gonna cover different forms of medical travel and fundamental topics, such as commonly used terms and language that you'll need to get familiar with when you enter the medical tourism industry. And the reason why it's important for you to know these definitions and these terms, because as you consume information in the medical travel industry, these terms are gonna be thrown around and you need to know the definition of them and understand what they mean so you can fully grasp and understand the information that you're consuming in the global healthcare industry. So I'm gonna start really basic with medical tourism. Uh, medical tourism is tossed around because it's the name of the industry, but there's so many words that are interchangeable with medical tourism um, or mean the same thing as medical tourism that you might not know mean medical tourism. So I wanna go over those terms. So when you see these terms, whether you're watching a video or reading content, you know when you see that term, it just means medical tourism. It's just a different word for it. So the first one is health tourism. So health tourism means medical tourism, and I'm gonna run through these uh, kind of quick. Um, health tourism, uh, medical travel, treatment abroad, um, healthcare abroad, overseas healthcare, medical care abroad, uh, global healthcare, um, health and wellness tourism, and then medical trip. All these simply mean medical tourism, uh, but like I said, if you're not familiar with these terms, you might think they mean something else, but they simply mean uh, medical tourism or medical travel, uh, just a different word. And the definition of all these terms, which is medical tourism, uh, means to travel outside of one's immediate community for healthcare treatment. So there's different forms of medical tourism and subsets of medical tourism. And I wanna just touch on some of them. Um, the first one is inbound medical tourism. Inbound medical tourism is when someone travels outside of their country into another country. Um, so if you're a medical tourism facilitator and you're trying to attract people to your destination from other countries, that's inbound medical tourism, where foreign patients are coming into that country to obtain medical treatment. The next one is outbound medical tourism. Um, and that's traveling outside of your home country. If you're in a country and you're sending patients to other countries or other destinations, medical tourism destinations, that's outbound medical tourism. So those are two different forms of medical tourism. And then you also have domestic medical tourism. And domestic medical tourism means that the patient isn't traveling internationally, uh, but they are still traveling outside of their immediate community, but typically it's to another state of Providence. So it's staying inside of their country, but going to another state of Providence, that's called domestic medical tourism. Um, and it's staying inside of their home country, uh, getting medical treatment. Uh, another form of medical tourism is dental tourism, which is extremely popular. It's one of the most popular forms of medical tourism. Dental tourism is pretty much the same as medical tourism, but getting dentistry done. And dental tourism is pretty straightforward. It's just traveling outside of your immediate community for dental treatment or dental care. And it's extremely popular. It's one of the most popular forms of medical travel. And the reason why dental tourism is so popular is because of the large savings. And I've seen people say 50, 60, 70, and even up to 80% uh, just by traveling to another country for dental care. A lot of people couple dental tourism with their vacations because it's a short recovery time after the procedure. And a lot of times there's no recovery time because they can get a procedure done, save some money and go right back to their vacation and not miss a beat. And typically when it comes to dental tourism, we typically see people from developed countries travel to less developed countries. So just for an example, we see this with Australians who travel to Thailand or Americans who travel to Latin American countries. Those are just two examples, but there's people from all around the globe that enjoy dental tourism and who save a substantial amount just by traveling to other countries for dental care. And many people perceive dentistry as low risk or getting dental care abroad as low risk, so they don't mind traveling abroad for that. They might be apprehensive about other procedures, but dentistry is really low risk in a lot of people's eyes. And the last form of medical tourism I go over is wellness tourism. And wellness tourism is travel associated with enhancing or maintaining one's personal well-being. And it's really popular in today's day and age, and it's growing. It's a really hot market. And because in today's day and age, people want to be more healthy, they want to take care of their physical being as well as their spiritual being. And wellness tourism ties into this. And so the market is really flourishing. So I want to cover a couple more terms that are commonly used in the medical travel industry. I want to give you the definition of them as well as other words that mean the same thing as these words. So words that are interchangeable or words that are synonymous with these words. And this next term you're more than likely familiar with, uh, medical tourism facilitator. And although you're familiar with the term, you may not be familiar with other commonly used terms that mean the same thing. So I wanna go over those terms with you. And I wanna make sure you know these so when you're reading content about medical tourism and you run across these terms, or you're watching videos and you come across these terms, you know what they mean. And before I cover these terms with you that mean the word medical tourism facilitator, I do wanna give you a definition of what a medical tourism facilitator is. A medical tourism facilitator refers to an individual or organization that coordinates trips for patients seeking treatment outside of their immediate community. 
So someone may call a medical tourism facilitator, a medical travel agent, a medical tourism agent, a medical tourism agency, an international patient coordinator, a healthcare facilitator, a medical tourism business, or they might just refer to them as a facilitator, agent, or agency. Another word that is commonly used in the medical tourism industry is a medical tourist. And a medical tourist is an individual that travels outside of the immediate community for healthcare treatment, right? This is the patient. This is the patient traveling to another place to get a healthcare procedure, and they're called medical tourists. But they're also called commonly uh, traveling patients, medical travelers. Sometimes we simply refer to them as clients uh, or consumers or just patients. But all these terms refer to a traveling patient or someone traveling outside of the immediate community for healthcare treatment. Hi guys, thanks for watching this short video. I hope you guys got value from it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. But if you guys want to get more in depth and want to find out how to start a medical travel agency from scratch, reach out to me. I'm going to leave my contact information below. But thanks again, and I look forward to speaking to you guys soon.